Anaxagoras, abdomen Asinian congressman, is making a speech where he praises Athens, his home city, and explains its history and how it is earning its glory to a crowd, consisting of various ambassadors and politicians uh, from cities of the Chilean Alliance and Alliance of Great City States, whose leader was Athens. Dear friends, I am grateful for your presence today as all of us together can celebrate the continued success of our alliance. Thanks to the mighty gods of Olympus and of course Athena, our city's goddess and loyal protector. It's certain that in, time, in these times of instability, our cities, the cities of the Delian Alliance, have prospered. A great example of this prosperity is Athens and I will show you why. During the Great War with the Persians, our city, like many others of course, showed great strength and resistance to those filthy barbarians. Our success in the Battle of Marathon and in the naval battle of Salamina was life-saving for the city and all the other Greek city-states. It came with a great price though. Our city was burned to the ground together with our sacred temples. After we returned to our destroyed homeland, we vowed to the Olympian gods that we would never build back what was destroyed so we can remember what the Persians did to us. And indeed, for a whole generation, nothing was built in Athens. But since our temples were destroyed and honoring the gods is a fundamental value of our civilization, the need to build back the temples was more than urgent. Through sharing and your generous offers, and later with the financial development of Athens, we were able to build everything you see around. On top of the Acropolis Hill, we, we built numerous beautiful and majestic buildings, such as the Temple of Athena Niki, the Erechtheion, the Propylia Gates, and of course, the huge Temple of Parthenon. Inside the Parthenon, there's a gold and ivory sta statue of our beloved goddess Athena. In the central market Agora, many buildings were also built, together with the temple of Hephaestus Thysio and the Dionysus Theater, where excellent plays are performed. Since, since defense is also important for the prosperity of a city, we, we built numerous defense projects like the Makra Tichy, a long wall stretching from Athens to the important port of Piraeus. Apart from the great infrastructure of our city, we also developed pioneering institutions which our political system, democracy, is based on. The most important characteristic of democracy is the participation of every free male Athenian citizen in the political life of this city. That's why we established Ecclesias, Ecclesia of Demos, a form of an open parliament. More specifically, every citizen can attend each session and have a say on the, decision made, the decisions made concerning new laws, domestic and foreign affairs, and how the city's funds are used. The topics of Ecclesia of Demos are prepared by a parliament called the Voli of 500, which also has a supervisory role. Finally, for all the private or public cases of the city, there is a public court, Ilea, consisting of 6,000 judges. All of these great things are a vision of our great leader, Pericles, whose persistence and wisdom combined with the will of the gods made Athens the great city that is today. A place where art, politics, philosophy, society and values excel, making it an open school for its citizens and the whole of Greece.